Now we're going to talk about estimating sums and differences of fractions. Now when you do this, the first thing you must realize is whether your fraction is close to 0, 1 half, or 1. We're going to use those three benchmarks to help us identify the sum and the difference in a particular problem before actually solving the problem. So let's look at the first number, 9 tenths. 9 tenths. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the denominator. We see that it's 10. We have to think to ourselves, what is half of 10? Half of 10 would be 5. So if we had to think where this would land on the number line, we would probably make it go, definitely make it go more than half, make it go really close to 1. Not quite 1. So when we round this one, we're going to round it to 1. Okay? If we look at the next problem, 1 eighth. So when we're dealing with a 1 in the numerator and a larger number in the denominator, we're going to move that down right here close to 0. So that would be closest to 0. And finally, when we have this 2 fifths here, now again, using that same method, what is half of 5? If you're not sure, think of what is half of $5? Half of $5 is $2.50. Is $2.50 close to 2? And it is, so we would estimate that one to 1 half. Okay, so when we're doing that, we're thinking about estimating to either 0, 1 half, or 1. Now let's put that idea to work and estimate a couple problems here. Okay, first we're going to estimate the difference of 15 sixteenths minus 1 eighth. When we do this, we're going to use the number line below to decide where it should go. So when we look at 15 sixteenths, we know that half of 16 is 8, and 15 is way more than 8, so where do you think it would lie on the number line? you said near the 1, you would be correct. So we're going to put a 1 below it. Let me make that blue so it stands out. Okay, we're going to keep our minus sign, and now we're going to go into the 1 eighth. Where would 1 eighth land? Would it land close to the 0, to 1 half, or the 1? Because 8 is much bigger than 1, and half of 8 is 4, 1 is much less than 4, we're going to actually estimate that at 0. So our answer is going to be about 